All right, now. What am I gonna draw? Yeah, this draw is me. a little draw awkward. Me. How would you draw me? Uh, I wouldn't. As I said, I'm not a very good characterist. Um, I can go into the do's and don'ts about caricature. Sidewalk <laughs> characterists, I don't really care for. The guys who like do, thank do, do, you. Do, do, do. <laughs> there it is. There's you, your would one. you rather prefer that? I don't know. What can I draw for you? <laughs> We'll have a little chalk talk here. Yeah, we need the whole thing. Jeez. Here's young Bart Simpson. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like Bart. Now, Bart has what we call the stretcher mouth. The stretcher mouth is a mouth that goes past the, uh, the neckline. And often <laughs> obscures the ear in the process. The ear just sort of hangs out there. And says, hey, my ear's gone. It's a very hard, hard angle to draw it at, but... Seems to be coming out reasonably well. Uh, a few little dents over here. <laughs> David, no. Thank hey, you. How you doing? Mm. Oh, looking for resemblance, I think. Is it an aw? Aw. Aw, isn't that nice? Aw. He's had fashion. And he's saying, you're watching QC. Oh, I love those things. What do you call those? Things. Things. I, but you love to do the little copyright now. <laughs> things that I. Oh, love. that's right. I gotta say, it's probably you know, it's copyright. <laughs> copyright. Fox <laughs> Network. I think that covers it. No company. There we go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you have to put like. Uh, you, you never know. What's his name? Oh, Rupert. Do you have to put Rupert down there or anything? Uh, ruthless Murdoch. Ruthless Murdoch. <laughs> let's see. We're, we're, which camera's doing this? That this one. guy. Okay. Here we go. That's Bart. That's Bart opening his big old head. His big old head. What's he saying? Big old head. He's saying, he's saying no way, man. <laughs> Say, I watch QC. I'm a pagan. Okay, I'm a pagan. All right, I guess I have to draw a sheep, because that's what I draw a lot. <laughs> uh, where where did Monday. this interest develop in, in sheep? sheep I'll never right. tell. <laughs> well, you know, I'm not from the Midwest, so I can't <laughs> You're do not that. from Nebraska. Nebraska. I'm not from Nebraska. <laughs> I'm not from Ohio. They're very easy to do. I don't know, I just drew it for that film Donnybrook. People said, oh, what darling sheep. Can I have a sheep doll? I said, okay, I'll try to make them someday. So there's no specific rules to animation, you just draw it. You, I mean, you can well, there, you no, take there liberties in, in and it doesn't have to look like a, a sheep. I noticed that, uh, I never noticed it before, but I was watching, reading Kathy the other last week and I noticed mm -hmm. that she has, doesn't have a nose. <laughs> well, I never noticed that before, but you know. Well, um, yeah, I suppose, although I don't really care for Kathy as a comic or as a piece of art. <laughs> yeah. There we are. He's my favorite, David. <laughs> <laughs> there, Bart and a sheep. Well, here's some things about animation that may or may not be interesting to people. So, so if, if you're bored, just you know, give a call and say how bored you are. Yeah, give us a call, 967 Yeah, I'll answer any question you want, sort of. Um, if, for example, somebody is going to be like... Uh, 967-7353, that's 967-7353. If somebody's putting on his pants, per se... Operator on duty now. You would pay like, like so. You'd have a drawing sort of like this. Here's a guy's pants. This is a guy's pants. No, this is a guy putting on his pants. One yeah. leg at a time. One leg at a time. You might start off with a drawing like this. And then the next drawing might be like so. He pulls on his... I've never animated somebody putting on his pants. I don't know exactly how you do it. Then he... How about the opposite? Oh. I haven't done that one. Okay. What was what? that right there? That's that's just this crotch area. <laughs> no, the crotch. second drawing. Right? The crotchal <laughs> area. <laughs> so might, you might have drawing. This would be your first drawing, drawing one and drawing two, and then you would do the in between drawings. Now, mm. depending on how quickly you want to make this movement go, will depend how many drawings you have. People say, how many drawings does it take? Well, it depends on time. Did you, did you if something takes a half a second, yeah. you have 12 frames to work with. <laughs> if something's going to take, you know, three seconds, you're going to have more drawings. So, actually, in this case, you might really just blur it and have a drawing that looks like, believe it or not, just kind of like this. And that actually so that would, would actually work. be between that. That would actually be between for a very that. short. And that would that would be be between that for one or two frames, or a twenty fourth, or a twelfth of so a second. Like give a the illusion. Into into it. Yeah, just get a, a, a dissolve of a blur. If you ever looked at live action film, um, frame by frame, you'll notice it blurs all the How do I spell my name? 
Uh, well, can you put it up on the AV ID? I know that one. Okay. <laughs> Did we get a call, or is that just somebody? Yeah, we got somebody it? waiting. Okay. Hi, who's there? Can't hear. Is there somebody there? Hello. Oh, oh Jesus! Oh my! God. <laughs> it's Jesus. It oh, Jesus. Jesus! What do you think of that film? Yeah, that about movie. the Last Temptation, huh? Oh, this is John. How you doing, John? Hi, John. Sorry, they had to gain up a bit here. Yeah, I was just wondering, you were talking about the director of a cartoon. What yes, does sir. the director do? He doesn't stand there yelling. Lights, camera. Come on, he's saying, stand over there, you cartoon or why I ought to. Now, very good point. Now, that man brings up a very that good, is a good question. question. Got a point there. How do you direct a cartoon? Well, this is how a man directs a cartoon. You see, you get your animators over here. Here's an animator yeah, over let's, here. Let's do a, let's draw a some block animators. drawing of. Here's an animator, and here's another animator. You got a fat and a skinny animator. Now, the director will often. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, Let's draw a picture I'm of the director. Oh. Of our director, maybe Steve It's going to take a long time. Steve um, now the director will, will come in and he'll have, he'll have the soundtrack and he'll say, well, I think it'd be funny if the guy sort of in the first scene, when he says so-and-so, he looks like this. And he'll probably compose a scene, like, um, like the opening of, of, let's say, The Pagans. Uh, did you see the animation of the um, Tracy Ullman show? Hmm. Just a few moments ago? Just a scant few moments ago? Okay, here we go. Hello, I'm caller. Jump... Hello? Hi. Yeah. Did you I'll see jump that? ahead of the game yeah. here. Here's a drawing. Here's a setup from a film that we haven't shown yet called Mariner Man. Okay, now, a director would do is he would co compose a shot. He'd say, well, this is how the characters are going to look. And they're going so, to... Ah. So a director has to be an animator also. Yes, a director has to be an artist. And he will say, well, uh, the characters will look like this, and uh, the composition will be like this. He'll time out the shot. He'll say, I want to hold on this shot for so many seconds or you know, for so many feet. They often measure in terms of feet. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, one, f one foot is about two-thirds of a second. Um, he will often design the look of the characters. Like That's why I was saying Chuck Jones' Bugs Bunny looks different from Bob Clampett's Bugs Bunny. Uh, Chuck Jones' Bugs Bunny, oh, a Chuck Jones film. You've seen The Roadrunner, right? Yeah. Okay, now the, the thing that the Roadrunner is famous for, let's get to this close-up camera, okay, because I'm going to use my head, the thing that the Roadrunner is good for are takes that are like this, the coyote will go, and go, very subtle takes with just the eyes and so forth, right? That was Chuck Jones's trademark, really, the very subtle takes, and also he had very odd compositions, so like, he might have the character in this part of the frame here. Like, it's, you know, it, it, that was all Chuck Jones's decision, to make these choices, these visual choices. Much like a live action director will make visual choices, saying, well, I want to the, the compose the characters here, I want you to move here at this point when you say this line. It's the same sort of thing, except it's a lot tedious, a lot more tedious. And also, unlike a live action director, a cartoon director edits the film um, before anything is shot, before anything's drawn, where a live action director will film a whole bunch from this angle and a whole bunch from that angle, and then go in the editing room and put it together. The, ca the animation director has to, to, has to edit it uh, before anything is done. But the animation director doesn't have to deal with uh, nasty actors, right? Well, just, um, just, just nasty animators, <laughs> which are sometimes worse, you know. <laughs> hey! Yeah, I found oh, them. Right. They were handed to me at a silver platter. How nice. Does that, uh, I was a bit rambling, but does that, does, does that help in any way? Yeah, that sort of clears it up. Okay. Well, to answer the question you asked earlier, who framed Roger Rabbit? It was the projector operator. Say. Get it? Get it? <laughs> That's great. He's a new uh, pun master. Pun master. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, back to the call.